Preview. Preview. Russian spy Sergei Skripal has collapsed in the United Kingdom along with uh, his daughter, uh, and they were poisoned. Now, this is a double spy. This was a double spy. Uh, Sergei was a uh, spy for Russia and then flipped and became a spy for the United States and the British. Um, <clears throat> so he was a double agent. Now, later, he uh, went ahead and um, uh, was captured. They, they used him then as part of a negotiation. Russia was able to get 10 of their spies released from the United States, and, the, and Russia released three of our spies that they had captured. So, but anyway, so he's supposed to be a free man living in exile in the United Kingdom. But uh, he was found, uh, they were poisoned. He and his daughter were both poisoned with an unknown substance. They were found uh, completely unconscious in a hotel room in the United Kingdom. So we're still trying to find out more about this story. We don't know what kind of substance they used, but this former agent, uh, whose wife, his son, and an older brother all have died in the past two years, was granted refuge by the United Kingdom following that spy swap back in 2010. So, uh, look, Dmitry Pezov, Russian President Vladimir Putin, told journalists that Moscow was prepared to help with the investigation. So Russia's saying, we didn't do it. This is certainly what the Illuminati does. So this is kind of their, right out of the Illuminati playbook, is to poison uh, a poison. They use poisoning all the time. It's it's one of the things that the uh, it's a signature way of assassination that the Illuminati likes to use. As a matter of fact, when they do it, they send they're sending a clear message that it is the Illuminati doing this. So, what was it that Sergi knew? What was it? That, what vital information did he have that was so important that uh, nobody in the global elitists, no one among the New World Order, really wanted him to to release? A former Soviet, a former Russian spy who became a double agent and was then became a spy for the United States and Britain is now poisoned. He is still alive. His, his uh, daughter was with him. She also still alive. And they are in the hospital right now in serious condition with some type of poisoning. We'll keep a close eye on this as this is just as unbelievable, but this is the kind of stuff that goes on. It, it's not just a spy novel. It's not just a Dan Brown book or, uh, or, or some other um, great novel that you may read. It's real life, real, real people, real situations. How does this play into all of the things that are going on right now? Has it got anything to do with what's happening in Syria and the, uh, and the conflicts between the United States and Russia over the oil of Syria, whether it's the oil up there with the Kurds or the oil in other parts of Syria, the control of Damascus, all of this positioning along near the Israeli border, all of this, the Middle East really getting intense right now. We're going to keep a close eye on all this. Yeah.